Before we solve the log equations, we're going to have to do, uh, we're going to have to talk about domain for a second. Okay, so what we've seen in the past is we can't have a zero on the bottom of a fraction, and we can't have a negative inside of a square root. Well, something else weird happens when we have a log. Whatever this number is, whatever this thing is right here, this argument inside the log must be greater than zero. All right, so it's kind of like the square root, but the square root could be zero. Um, the square root just couldn't be negative, so the square root one had to be greater than or equal to zero, but the argument of the log has to be greater than zero. So if you see like log of x minus 4, then you would say, well, this argument has to be greater than zero, so if you add 4, x is going to have to be greater than 4. So when we, when we do the domain, you'd have to go, well, if it's greater than 4, it's going from 4 to positive infinity. That would be the domain. Okay, so just keep in mind, whatever this is has to be greater than 0. We didn't have to do that with exponential functions because we're allowed to have negative exponents, and that's fine. You just flip it and square. There was no problem like when you have a 0 on the bottom or when you have a square root of a negative or having a negative inside of a log, okay? So it's not that you can't have a negative inside the log, it's just the overall argument must end up being positive. So we go back and look at some examples. Solve each equation, give exact values. Now it doesn't tell you that you have to look at the domain, but you're going to have to pay attention to that. Mostly we're just isolating the variable here. Divide by 4, you get natural log of x equals 9 and in order to get out of a log you're going to do an exponential. The inverse operation of a log is an exponential so since this is a log base e we're going to do an exponential base e on both sides to cancel out. x is equal to whatever e to the ninth power is. Now if it didn't say give exact values I'd get my calculator out but since I want exact values I'll just leave it right like that. Okay. Now, I guess it wouldn't hurt to see what that is. 8,103 or so, because you're supposed to look at this and say, well, this, ant this x number has to be greater than 0. Well, we're, we're good. This number is greater than 0, so it works. You're going to have to remember to look at that. Part B log base 3 of x cubed minus 5 equals 1. You can either look at the domain first or last. I think probably if you look at it first, you're less likely to make a mistake. But that thing inside parentheses must be greater than 0. x cubed minus 5 is greater than 0. And this doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the problem, but it has to do with the domain. Add the 5 over x, is, uh, x cubed is greater than 5. You're going to do a cubed root. So x is going to be greater than whatever the cubed root of 5 is. All right. So that's just, that's just telling me the domain. The domain means that your x numbers are going to have to be bigger than whatever that is. So it would be from the cube root of 5 to positive infinity would be your domain. Now let's solve if I was going to solve this, I'm trying to isolate, so get out of a log base 3 with an exponential base 3. x cubed minus 5 equals 3 to the first power is 3. I add the 5 over, that gives me x cubed equals 8. And I'm going to take a cubed root of both sides, cubed root of 8 equals 2. And so as long as your answer is acceptable within your domain, Okay, uh, well, what is the cubed root of 5, I guess? 5 to the 1 third power, 1.7. So we're talking about 1.7 to infinity. As long as your answer fits in that, then you're in good shape. Okay, since it does, x equals 2 is the answer. So make sure you remember to do the domain. Example 6 has three different log parts, and so as for the domain, you're going to have to take each of the arguments and say, well, 2x plus 1 must be greater than 0, and x must be greater than 0, and x plus 8 must be greater than 0. I'm going to wait and do the domain part last. Let's do the, uh, the solving part first. 
So notice it's log plus log. We're going to go back and use our properties and say we can condense to a single log using multiplication. So 2x plus 1 times x, I can condense that into a single log. So log of that equals log of 8 plus, or x plus 8. Okay, so you can distribute in there if you want to. Log of 2x squared plus x equals log of x plus 8. So I've got log equals log. That's log base 10. So if I want to get out of the log base 10, I can do an exponential base 10 on both sides. That cancels out and leaves me with just 2x squared plus x equals x plus 8. I'm going to try and get my like terms together, but you notice these x's cancel each other out. And so the equation becomes a lot simpler. 2x squared equals 8. Divide by 2, you get x squared equals 4. And we know we're going to take a square root, but the even root is going to lead me to a plus or minus answer. x is going to equal plus or minus 2. Maybe. All right. We have to, we have to make sure that neither, none of those numbers, neither of those two answers, would give me a negative value in my log. And so remember back up here at the top when we said those things have to be greater than or equal 0. 2x plus 1 must be greater than or, or not equal, greater than 0. So if you subtract 1 and divide by 2, x must be greater than negative 1 half. So you can already tell negative 2 is not going to work. But let's go ahead and do the others. x is greater than 0. And x plus 8 is greater than 0, so x must be greater than negative 8, all right? So if you, really, you have to put those three things together. If, let's say, here's 0, and here's negative 1 half, and here's negative 8. Your answer has to be greater than any of those, and so your answer really is going to be over here somewhere. Your answer really has to be bigger than zero. So if I was doing the domain on this problem, it would be from zero to infinity. So you look at your answers, or your possible answers. One of them's positive two, one of them's negative two. The negative two is not going to work. Negative two is not in the domain. So that means our answer is just positive two. X equals two.